Okay, everybody, this is the Legacy Deluxe Knockout Figure Complete Transformation Process video. Just a reminder, it is only the transformation process and the review is going to be separately uploaded. Um, I'm going to give you some hints and tips as well. And this is quite a satisfying transformation process, in honesty. What we're going to do, we're going to start off with the back wheel arches. Carefully pull them away just a teeny bit, just to separate from the tab. Fold this back under and you've got that little tab which will click into there like so. Repeat the same process on this side, click that in. And then to be honest, you can fold the feet back and we can just leave that alone for a second in all honesty. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna turn the orientation of the forearms out and fold the fists into the gap that's there. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna obviously separate this whole back kibble, fold it out, just start to undo it. Don't fold it all the way out if you don't want to. I just like to separate it all and funnily enough, fold that back bit out just so it's ready for later on. Then what we're gonna do is gonna lift this up, bring it right the way up. What you can then do now is push, bring this part forward, push the head down out of the way until that goes flush. And then this part will then fit back through and again, line up flush there. What we can then do, because we've got this bent over and ready, we can join the back parts together via this huge tab at the back there and if it doesn't click in straight away we can click it together once we've folded it over mine's struggling but what i'm going to do is i'm going to cascade this back in itself like so and that just gives it a little bit more um i suppose like that's it the word i'm after is not as flimsy because obviously it's got all this inside right what we need to do now then is we need to take this waist part we're going to spin this all the way around that's out of the way now and what this is going to enable us to do if we bring the arms down we're looking to get this tab on the outside so if i bring this in you can see that that tab is now on the outside this is going to fit into the slot there on the door so we're going to do the same here fold this in it should fit all snugly around the head you've got your five millimeter ports there the back is already clipped together so let's have a look at this then so push the windscreen forward bring it down clip that into place there's your tab there's your tab and there's your cutouts there as well so bring this over if you just do the side of the doors first that'll clip in and then you can always correct these bits afterwards um, as well just like this you can see in it goes alternate mode Right then, let's take him back to robot. So separate the back bit and the door there off the arm, fold it up, a bit like giving it wings like the mask car, bring the door panels up, separate this at the back as well. And then what we can do is we can bring the arms out like so, and then we should be able to lift this up carefully out of the way. Let's spin the waist part around as well. To be honest, we can fold the legs down whilst we're here, fold them out, cascade them out, separate at the bottom bring the feet down take this out of that tab there and turn it forward again you'll hear a little click so you know it's in the right place separate it from there bring it forward little click it's in place fold the feet down right this is i suppose the only really tricky bit now so let's push this bit down out there that's going to clip into these front bits in a second then what we need to do is separate the back part of the roof so lift that up like so once you've separated that you can then push the head back through all the way around push it all the way up till it's flush again you probably heard that click in let's fold the arms down out of the way for a second and we're going to partially do the back part so we're going to fold this over on itself make sure that these are partially folded over. If you do this bit afterwards, it won't go down. So what I mean by that is see how you can close it over the top of that now. If you left it open, it wouldn't be able to fold over them. Fold it like so, fold this back up and over on itself to click it down. You might need to readjust it ever so slightly. We'll come back to that in a second. Or of course, take the fists, turn the orientation around there, take the fists out, turn the orientation around there. And the last bit, which I didn't do, which I mentioned earlier, is that is gonna click and sit into place there and if this is still popping up again it's just a case of adjusting it there we go till it clicks back in place there you go robot mode legacy knockout